is high intensity exercise good for the overweight? That is the subject of today's food for thought video. Hi, my name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to our daily live health tip video. So today we're talking about high intensity training. This can be just general high intensity exercise, uh, but it also could be a HIT class. So HIT, H-I-I-T, is really popular at the moment, especially in health clubs. Everybody's doing 30 minute HIT uh, classes. Joe Wicks made HIT really, really famous. But the question is, is HIT good if you're overweight? I'm overweight. I'm 15 stone, I should be 13 stone too, therefore I am overweight. Is it good for me to do HIIT? No. Do I enjoy doing HIIT? No. <laughs> Does my body thank me for doing HIIT? No. So the, uh, the question, the answer is no, guys. So if you are overweight, you have to be really, really careful with what you are doing to your body. At the end of the day, we have one body and unless you want hip replacements and knee replacements and all these horrible operations, uh, then you better not push your body too far. Now, I'm going to show you a practical way to make sure you're not doing high intensity uh, training and that is using your Fitbit, your Apple Watch, whatever device you have can help you stop training too hard. Right, so... If you go into your app of choice and you go into uh, your heart rate section, that's if you've got a heart rate section, um, and when you click on uh, your zones, it will show you a graph of your heart rate. Uh, now this heart rate is split up into different training zones. Uh, you've got something called your fat training, fat burning training zone, your cardio training zone, and then you've also got something, your peak training zone. Now, if you know anything about HIIT training, high intensity training, it's all about being in that peak, okay? Uh, and if you've ever been to Orange Theory, which is a gym in um, just off Pride Park near Sainsbury's, um, they've got your heart rate on the wall there and everybody's trying to hit red, is trying to hit peak all the time. So this is high intensity training. And as I said, if you're overweight, this is not only, although it could benefit, it will benefit your heart because obviously you're getting your heart to its maximum rate. If you've got any sort of underlying health conditions or you are generally overweight, it is just putting a little bit too much pressure on your bones, on your joints, and most importantly, your heart. Welcome to our live video, Aaron. Good afternoon. I'm good, thank you. You have a Fitbit Visa. Yes, Versa. Uh, yes, I've got a Fitbit Charge 4 because the battery lasts for 10 days. This is why I love this edition. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you have a look at my one for yesterday, yesterday was Monday and I taught three fitness classes. And the good news is I was in peak for no minutes. I was in cardio for six minutes, but I was in fat burning for 119 minutes. So that is perfect. So as people who are overweight and people who want to lose weight, you do want to stay in your fat burning zone. Now, the good news is for most of us who are overweight, a gentle walk, a little swim, a nice gentle bike ride will actually get us in our peak uh, zone. Now, for instance, my mum, when she's doing the same walk as me, which is not so slow, but not also so fast, she's possibly in her cardio, because I can hear her breath, she gets out of breath. If we get go up a hill slightly, she'll be going into a peak zone because she literally can't speak. Um, so it's all about listening to your body. Yes, these devices are great because it tells us in depth exactly how our heart is, but also listen to your body. Uh, you should never get into that zone. The peak training zone is where you can't speak. The fat burning zone, sorry, the cardio zone is generally where you're having trouble to speak. You can get a few words out, but the fat burning zone is where you can speak freely. Uh, however, you do feel like your heart rate is up. So those are the ways to gauge um, those levels if you don't have a Fitbit. That was just my alarm going off. Um, and that's it guys. So that was uh, the science behind it. 
Uh, and as I said, the reason also behind it, why you don't want to be doing that is because you want exercise to be enjoyable. You know, I know so many people that dread going to the gym, dread doing their HIIT classes. Yes, the endorphins are released at the end of a 30 minute HIIT class, so you feel great. But actually, you might need to take some painkillers afterwards. So I know some people who take painkillers before exercise, which is so, so dangerous. Because remember, pain is there to tell you you're, there's something wrong with your body. So if you are in that situation where you are taking painkillers or not enjoying your exercise, size change it guys because we all know that losing weight is all about nutrition and to be honest not really about exercise exercise is great to make us feel good and obviously burn a few extra calories but what's really going to make the difference is nutrition so leave us a comment guys what do you think uh what sort of heart rate monitor do you have do you have any uh, do you count your own pulse do you go old school uh, and have a look on there now and leave me a comment guys how many minutes have you been in fat burning today? How many have you been in cardio? And how many have you been in peak? I would love to know. So that is it for our uh, video today. As always, uh, give us a like, give us a share. And if you're watching on replay on YouTube, click on subscribe. See you in the morning for Workout Wednesday. Bye for now.